Howdy folks, welcome to episode 28. Uh, today we're going to continue work on the CV and if you look in the upper left corner of my screen here, or your screen too, uh, you can see that uh, we are now in pre-alpha 5.1. This is the new version that just dropped uh, this morning, Tuesday morning, and um, I haven't had a chance to, to look at everything in it yet, but as you can see there's uh, the map has been updated. They've also added in this map. Um, that shows the whole solar system and stuff. Uh, they said they fixed the bug with the um, the meteorites landing in space. Um, they said they fixed the ship's orientation. So all the stuff I just told you last last episode about uh, <laughs> about building ships and finding the front and everything is apparently no longer important. Uh, the CVs actually the the Components now include a cockpit, I believe, uh, so that when you place it, the cockpit's automatically um, automatically placed with the core. Um, and uh, what else? They fixed the fuel bug. Uh, they said they fixed the fuel bug that when you turn on your ship, it used to just use up all the fuel since the last time you turned it on. Um, so that apparently is fixed. And uh, there's a few other minor things. Um, one of the bigger things is that the ship weapons and turrets and everything all the big you know base and ship stuff all uses ammo now um, which is going to be really expensive for the uh, um, <laughs> the ones that are shooting wandering monsters nearby so I'm not sure how they're going to deal with that for right now but um, yeah so uh, there's there's all that and uh, maybe we'll run into something else new but yeah there's a few minor other things they uh, they mentioned uh, I don't remember all the details. Um, I thought about doing a showcase of that uh, for an episode, but honestly, the the changes weren't really as exciting as something like a new new solar system or whatever. So um, yeah, I I didn't I didn't see fleshing out an entire or filling out an entire episode. I'd probably have to like come up with a bunch of filler or whatever. So anyway, uh, we're going to continue working on the base where pretty much where we left off, although. I did, as you can see, I added on the windows on the rest, and I did this same kind of curvy junction or angled junction between these two parts. Uh, this is the engineering room and the bay back here. And I'm about to put the ceilings in, so I figured I'd uh, uh, let you guys watch this real quick uh, while I put in the ceilings on this. And then there's a few things we need to figure out what we're going to do. Um, let's see, we can do a rectangle for this room now that I've got that. Okay, so the other thing that um, we need to do is this here, is how the bridge comes down um, into the hallway. Does it come down behind this, back behind the bridge, or should it come down uh, inside the bridge underneath uh, should there be a stairway that just comes through here and then how is the back of the bridge going to merge into the rest of the ship so I'm thinking of just using um, ramps to let's see here to basically do this uh, just basically ramp it down into the rest of the ship uh, let's see we should be able to yeah we have this piece here um, yeah, so I'm thinking, let me let me try this and see if it will work. Um, and I think if, yeah, I think what we'll end up doing is probably putting a stairway out the back of it uh, because that this will make room for it, I think. Um, but let me double check here. Um, I have not uh, <laughs> done much for design on this as far as, like, I didn't go into creative and and try to build any of these components or anything like that so um, this is pretty much this is the first I've seen of any of this too so yeah this is how the interior would look uh, I know it's a little dark but yeah here's how the interior would look um, so we could put stairways we can replace these blocks with upside down ramps and um, let's see here let's take uh, our repair tool and uh, yeah, I went back down to the planet too to grab some more supplies and I put um, some supplies into the constructor so that we can build stuff we need to while we're up here without having to go all the way back down to the planet again. 
But yeah, while I was down there, I had some some chunks loading, uh, weird chunk loading bugs where stuff wasn't loading, and then like it load in, and then other stuff would unload, and the water was different colors and kind of you know like it wasn't being lit. Some of the squares of water were not being lit. So I'm not sure if that's just going to be the one time, if that's specific to my game, or if anybody else is going to run into that problem too. But yeah, um, it's it's pretty often no surprise there. But uh, let's see. We'll do this across here. And then, um, does that, oh, those are hull blocks. That's why I can't do a roof there. Okay, and then we'll do this. And I'm not going across because I don't want to waste the extra blocks. I'm starting to get low on these. So I don't really want to waste them. So I'll turn this off so that I can do the middle to save me a whole four blocks or whatever, right? <laughs> Woo! Um, yeah, anyway, let's see what the, how this looks. And if we can, whoops, if we can fit a stairway in here. I think we can. And, and if, if I can get through here. Okay. So yeah, that that and I probably could have even just put windows on part of that, and I may end up busting this out to put windows in. Um, again, once again, breaking out blocks that I've already put in in order to build. But uh, yeah, let's see. We can do we can do uh, st a stairway here on each side, going up to the bridge. I think that would I think that would work. Let me find my stairways here. And um, I'm thinking these, I kind of like the other ones as far as, I, I like the smoother uh, ramp types, uh, the, the two by, but they take up so much space um, as far as, and they're opaque too. They don't make a smoother one of these that's, uh, that's too long and you can see underneath. So I don't want this ramp, it takes, it's, it blocks everything that's underneath it. So I don't want that. Um, I need... Oh, I probably need a bunch of these, so I'll need other stairs to get up and down from engineering and everything, too. So, oh, here, metal plates. Okay. And six, that should do me. Okay. That should do it. That should be enough. And I actually don't need my jetpack now. And I apologize if it's a little dark. Uh, I will put some lights in here so that you guys can see a little better what we're doing. Um, here, we'll get this. We'll put some lights in just for the moment. Okay. So, yeah, this will be how you get up and down to the bridge. And that's the thing I don't like about these is you kind of, you, you go up and down slowly on them. It's kind of annoying. Um, especially on the ships, your gravity is 1.0 instead of, you know, a little bit lighter, which I really don't like either. I really wish you could set the gravity on the sh ships to be, to be whatever. So they, all, the, one of the other things they did, I'll show you, is um, they put the player model on the, and they, they supposedly, they said they, they uh, let's see here. Is this working? No? Oh, it must have remapped my keys for that or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, they set the viewpoint to not be so ridiculously high, I think they said. But yeah, there's supposed to be... A player, if you can see it, no, you can't see it. Okay, but anyway, they said that now you can see the player at the cockpit um, and the player at the um, passenger seat, which is kind of cool. So when you're in the ship, there's no, it's not like just an empty ship flying around. And uh, let's jump into the dart real quick and see if it does there. It may just be that it shows other players. Um, let's see. Yeah, I can't tell from here. Let's see. No, it looks like my cockpit is empty. I don't see... I can't see... Uh, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Oh, yeah, there is me. There is me in the cockpit. So, yeah. Uh, they added that, too. That's cool. Um, and actually, I can just leave that on because now we can actually see. <laughs> awesome. And, uh, yeah, so we'll put in this other stairway here. That's going to start here and go up that way and we'll get rid of this uh, block here and put in these stairs and then I gotta figure out 
Uh, the bay, I think, is the other thing we need to work on, is how we're going to do the bay. So, and also the side of this, too. We need to, to close up the side of this in a way that makes sense. Um, and that's probably going to be a little tricky. Let's see. Um, I think what we can do is we can put this underneath upside down. There. No, not like that. Is that going to work? I don't think that's going to work. No, that's not going to work. Um, there's got to be a better way to like that. <sighs> Uh-oh. Well, uh, let me let me screw around with this, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're back, and I think I've got this figured out. So I think what we can do is we can take these out, and I need to charge. Okay. Well, that's interesting. It also shows you, if you look on the lower right, it shows how much ammo and also how many refills, refills of ammo you have. So I only have one. As you can see here, one here, and it shows over here I have one uh, re refill left. That's kind of cool. They added that. Uh, I think they did that for the turrets and the weapons as well. So when you put in a, a weapon in your... I don't even have a weapon on me. <laughs> when you put a weapon in your hotbar, it will show you how, much, how many clips of ammo you have as well. So what I can do here is put these... Um, this way, okay, and yeah, we'll just waste that one, okay, and, um, and then we can put this one here and run that, run a ramp back to that, like this, and then we can climb up this wall with these, I think, what just happened there, <laughs> uh, let's see like this and like this and I think that's gonna be the chopped off magic piece yeah okay so that's that's how that will look that's how that work will work and um, yeah I probably should put a window in the back of there it's gonna look I don't know we'll see how it looks might even put like a fin going down that or something but um, yeah let me put this ceiling on this and we'll probably do the same kind of thing maybe we can do the same kind of style with that little uh, chop back on these as well so let me add the roof and the back to this and I will be back in a minute okay guys we're back and uh, yeah I'm going to just use the uh, ship whoa do not do that whoa that scared me <laughs> I'm in space but it still scared me <laughs> okay uh, yeah, I'm just going to use the ship to light this up while I'm working on it, um, since they don't really have proper work lights. Um, but yeah, what we wanted to do is we want to um, close this off, and we wanted to do it in the same way we did on the other one. So this piece, I think, is going to come out, this one here, and is going to need to be replaced with... Uh, a ramp. Let's see. And I put the constructor to work making some more uh, char recharges. Yeah, here we go. Okay. So now it shows 10 down there. That's cool. Okay. So let me take these out so that when we put in our, um, whatchamacallit, will actually work when we put in our symmetry axis. And you know, the other thing I need to do is I need a bunch of these, um, these ramp plates. Let me see. Uh, do, 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 do. Building blocks, ramps. There we go. And let me check real quick. Let me check real quick and see if I have any more in here. Did I? Did I just bring more? And for, uh, have I have block? I have uh, metal plates there. A ton of metal plates. And, nope, a bunch of recharges and a bunch of ammo. Okay. Whoa. I hate that when you put run into stuff with the backpack, you just start spinning all over the place. Okay. So, let's, let's do this and put some plates in here. So, those will actually produce faster. Okay. 
So what we want to do is we want to put on our symmetry axis and we're going to go across like this and then the next layer is going to come down. We could even swing it in a little but the idea is we want to do like we did with the last one and um, make the bottom part is the bottom part is going to be um, let's see this one's going to be there so that one's going to be there and it's going to come back the other way um, like that so yeah we want this to come back like that that's okay that's all I needed was to see that okay so put that there and we ran out of blocks. What a surprise. And there we go. Let's see how many more of these are made already. I like, how, I like that these at least produce quickly. It sucks waiting for things to craft. <laughs> or having to spend a lot of time pre-calculating how much you need so that you can craft it and not waste a ton. Um, okay, and... These go like this, and is this going to be, this is going to be outside of the ship anyway, so that can be closed off. Okay, cool. So I could even put a door in there so that you can get in from the outside if you need to, and probably want to put windows along here because it's kind of gloomy looking in the back. Although this is what, this is the crafting room, probably shouldn't put too many windows and vulnerabilities on that because... You end up with your cargo and your constructors get blown up and you lose a lot of stuff. Um, so we can put a door on here. And yeah, I can see that my food is flashing. <laughs> um, is that going to work? Yeah, we'll put it there for now. Okay, so we want to get this corner worked out. Um, and we're going to need, I think, our magic block here. Yep like that and then we're gonna need the corners uh, this little corner that will go this way and then let's see is that gonna go upside down yeah that'll go upside down like that and then we can put a ramp here so like that that's perfect oh and I turned off the symmetry so now I have to do it again <laughs> Alright, I'll do this again and I will come right back because you're not going to be able to see this anyway. Okay guys, looks like uh, that is complete and I kind of like the way it looks. It's at least themed. Um, it's going to look interesting when you get the whole ship together like that. So um, it's not like the coolest looking thing ever, but uh, I kind of like that it's stylized, that we've got a theme going, that... Uh, the whole ship can kind of match each other and we can get some lines going and stuff. <laughs> I suppose I should eat, huh? The ship will probably look better if I eat. Okay. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, that's going to be it for episode 28. Uh, join me for episode 29 where we will get to work on this big fighter bay, cargo bay, whatever, docking bay, landing bay, whatever you want to call it. It's a bay of some kind. Um, but yeah, we will get that done. Uh, the real challenge, I think, of that is going to be figuring out this front wall, whether we want to just sweep it all the way back um, or try to make it vertical or what. So uh, join me for episode 29, and we'll figure that out. And uh, we'll see you then. Later. Later.